Hello everyone and welcome to an, uh, a Monday <laughs> Let's Play Elite Dangerous live stream. What is order it? would it be? <laughs> is it evening there? Isn't evening. It? I was about to say evening. I was about to say evening. Um, but welcome to our Monday Monday Let's li Let's Play live stream. I am Will Flanagan and I am joined, of course, by Stephen Benedetti today. Uh, we are community managers here at Frontier Developments, um, and as is. Uh, our ritual exercise here every Monday. We're here playing Elite Dangerous, chatting to you guys. That is pretty much how it's going to go today. So, Stephen, yeah. how the devil are you? I am absolutely spendiferous. 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 Uh, can I have a definition, please? Um, I'm good. I'm really good. It's Monday. I've had about three cups of coffee already. Um, I need one. Started. I need one. <laughs> only need one. I need one. I started oh. this morning by actually going to the gym which is good ah. so I went this morning so I feel I feel the false sense of um, the energy. false sense of energy so I'm like <laughs> yeah I'm like I can do this and then I'll get to like lunchtime and I'll have a sandwich or something I'll be like <laughs> I'm tired I'm tired how the how the the god are you <laughs> wow you said double uh, well, so we're, we're keeping it biblical it. today yep. um, I'm good I'm very well I've had a quite a busy weekend yes you have um, but I'm Good. It's Monday. There's lots to do, lots, lots to prepare for. Yes. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to jump to the, the game screen right now what? because you might be wondering why Stephen was fiddling with his joystick. Well, if I didn't, I would have going to crash. You were. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to crash. Were. There you go. Uh, we're quite autumn, autumnal, autumnal today. Autumnal. Auton like last time. Last time we were a good auto autumnal. Although I realise this shirt isn't really great because because of the the white. You can see it's like this weird oh, it's, effect. Uh, yeah. Does that? it look like that on your screen, guys? It's sort of like a. A weird game with your eyes. Fun fact is like when it was my uh, when it was my, my Christmas last last year, my mom got me this weird um, this weird shirt that had okay. like it's not sparkly, but you know like the wee circular plastic things that were reflective. Uh, sequins. Sequins, I think, yeah, and it had that like just about here, mm -hmm. um, and I never really I never wore it to my Christmas night out, um, but I did wear it to one that I had with my sister, and I ended up in this like salsa bar. And it was, it was a very fitting top for it. I think we need to see it on next week's live stream. Next week's live stream. I don't have it anymore yeah. for that exact oh, reason. How convenient. Oh, it's a shame. <laughs> it's a shame. Um, joining us today in the chat right now, we have Sargeras, the caretaker of World Souls, has joined us from the World of Warcraft to, to be here right now. We've got Commander Crunch. Uh, I can't say your name. I don't know if that's allowed. I mean, you're. I mean, <laughs> I mean it is. But stake is your name. <laughs> Uh, Commander H83DH3R0. I think that's how it's called. Coast from uh, Pixel Bandit Security Force. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the Honey Thief, and we have Psy Conjure and JHGT. Uh, JHGT2D. 3D. Honey Thief asks Will, Steve, how are you? Have you begun interviews for the new CM position? Any hot frontier <sighs> gossip? I have no idea. You don't know. I don't know anything. Don't know, do I genuinely, you? I genuinely just get well um, saying, "Help me with this, do this stuff, and any of the kind of big stuff." Mm. He, he'll, he will always tell me, but I never really ask about that stuff. So, uh, well, let's talk about let's it now. Talk about um, it now. So we haven't actually got anything to announce about the position right now. Uh, still, it's still open. Uh, I think the the deadline on the website had like the fifteenth of November, um, but that's not the deadline. It's it's still open. We're still keen for. Um, Community managers, experienced, or, or kind of those who are starting um, trying to get into it. I mean, we we've got. It's very open, so we're looking for either experienced or someone who has a little bit of experience but would like some more. So mm -hmm. there you go. Anyway, so that's happening. Any hot frontier gossip? I don't know if you saw last week, but there were some pretty pretty big announcements for for some of our other games. Yes, which is quite exciting. Well, it's, it's amazing. Um, and uh, for Elite Dangerous, I know people are very eager to know what is going on with the next update and what's coming with that. Mm -hmm. You'll find out very soon. Yes, very soon. Very, very soon. Because we don't say it on we don't say it on these live streams. We don't say when something's coming. This is not how we how we announce it. But when we know something is coming, we we do often go. You'll hear about it soon. Yeah. As opposed to we have nothing to announce right now. So the very like minor inflections of yeah. what we say as yeah the, read into every line every word i say don't do don't do that don't do that <laughs> i mean because literally these these are let's playing on our own accounts mm. as you see i've got myself eventually oh, yeah, of course. let's talk about today's live stream uh, yeah I, I finally got myself uh, a fair lance and i was like yeah i'm gonna test it for combat and got myself like a build that i want to do 
and I realized that when I started putting everything on, it has totally destroyed. So you'll see what I'm doing just now is putting everything in Babbage Gateway. And then I'm going to jump Babbage. over to New Home Station and try to get myself a better frame shift drive. Um, because... Do you need one, though? Yeah, because I've got like six light year jump. Do you have any shields on this? I have to take them all off because I need to do the jump. So I've just taken everything off that I don't need just now. Okay. And then I'm going to come back and go to this resource extraction site. Nice, okay. So, so you've got a plan. We've got, there is a plan. Um, I just wish I had planned more because I started putting my ship together. So I was playing it. I was playing it last night until around... So I need 8.9 light years. That's what I need to get to. And then um, I need to go to New Home Station. Orange Phoenix says, why? Uh, so why a 30, Stephen? So I have heard good things about fair day for mm. combat. And as, you, as, as... Well, I need to get more off my ship. As people know, that's kind of what I'm looking into doing. Mm -hmm. But the problem that I have is that the other ships that I've had are great, but up against other things like I had, the, my last ship was the Federal Assault Ship. Mm -hmm. um, but the shields just didn't work on it. And I want to do, like we've discussed, I want to kind of go with more harder race sites. I want to maybe do some Fargo. That'll hunting. be the day, Stephen. I know. Uh, I want to try and do these things, but it is getting there and making sure that I've got the best tools that I've got. And for a medium ship, I did my research and this is a really you, good, a really good go, combat, yeah. really good combat ship. Um, Ghost PBSF says, Will, have you heard that this, the con uh, conflict zones are not working? Uh, combat zones, yes, yes I have. Um, we are aware of that um, and it's, it's something we're gonna be looking into, but um, no details on any fixes or anything like that right now. Um, where are the fleet carriers? They have been, been postponed, postponed. TG, so they're not coming out this year. No. Um, so we'll have more information about those in the future as well. Yes. Uh, we have uh, a few updates before then. <laughs> Films by Nick, hello, good day to you. Uh, what has everybody, everybody been up to this weekend? You baked some bread. I actually went and baked some bread. This is very true. I decided that, um, so one time a few years ago when I was in Scotland and it was really snowy. I went to the shops and mm. they were absolutely decimated. Like it looked like it looked like a, it looked like an apocalypse scene. And um, there was nothing in the shops. So I, I always said to myself, one I day I wanted not to. Scotland normally. <laughs> no, normally we are about an abundance. There was. I even went to the pub and there was no beer. Literally, I was. That doesn't was, sound like. That sounds it, like an alternate reality. It, it, it felt like <laughs> an alternate reality. Um, so I then decided to myself. I was like, right. Maybe I should learn to make the basics. Sure. If I could, so I went through to I was going through the shops and I found these. Um, I found these. Uh, it was like the uh, gluten-free bread mm -hmm. mixed up the flour, and I thought to myself, I actually don't see like uh, there is studies that say that gluten-free doesn't really have any benefits for you. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and bake some gluten-free bread, and really? I did. Yeah, and you, it looked quite successful. I. It was absolutely delicious. Uh, I'm just going to check something over here. So yes. Don't mind me. No, no, no. So if you ever decided, ah, oh, bread is too difficult, because honestly, I did. I thought bread, I, I'm never going to be able to cook bread. That's absolutely ridiculous. I've never thought of something that I could do. It was actually really easy to do. Um, and uh, I am maybe a slice of pie, says hi, Will, and hi, person next to Will. This is Stephen. <laughs> If you haven't been introduced, I am I am maybe a sl slice of pie. I haven't seen your name in ages. It's probably because I don't come onto the the planet planets planet streams much anymore. I don't get the chance. I've been on a couple so it's of been them. A while. I've been on yeah. a couple of them. A lot of fun um, going on them again. Just a just a wee bit of variation, but it's yeah. just it doesn't. I don't get the same enjoyment as I do with Elite. There you go. Well. Um, that's because Elite's got spaceships in it. No, there's got spaceships. lots of great things about the others too. Oh, yeah. um, but obviously we're we're playing around with spaceships. Uh, we have a Zach in the chat. Hello, Zach. Are you not out of the office? He's watching. He's always watching. Hi, of Zach Antonacci. Nice to Zach, meet you, yeah. Stephen. He says. Eight point nine light years. How much have I got? How much? It's been a while. What have you been up to? I am maybe a slice of pie. What are you doing in the world of games or life? Let me know. I need to get them back in here. How do I get back in here? Baking isn't difficult. I actually bake a loaf or two in the back of my FDL during Thargoid combat sometimes. Ah. Uh, so is the bread kind of, is it uh, soft? Is it crunchy? Is it a little bit stale? Like what's the... So it was actually, when I took it out, it was really soft and it was 
tastier than I thought, and I had okay. a lovely crust on it. Ooh. Nice. Um, so I was actually really surprised about how well it turned out. Yeah. Um, but I would definitely recommend if anybody wants to try it. It's probably one of the easiest re recipes I've had. It's like BBC's food, and it was literally the flour, everything else, all that stuff. Uh, so you got your flour, vinegar, salt, caster sugar, um, and then I just need to jump back in here. Sorry. Um, and then put it in with some oil, mix it around, put it in a baking tray, let it sit, and mm -hmm. you know let all the the goods. Oh, and what are they called? The 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 stuff you need to put in bread to make yeast. it rise. Yeast and the yeast and, powder. But it has to. You have to be really careful. I've heard with that. But so yeast. I was talking with a friend. They made a pizza. Yes. And the yeast. Um, have you already moved? So I needed to go back, I need to come back in because I thought it was 8.9 light years and it's 8.90 light years I need to get. Again, this is a lesson, this is genuinely how sometimes when I'm an elite, I sometimes don't think things through as... Well, you were talking, in fairness, you were talking about your lovely bread. Yeah, I was we're talking about the lovely into bread. Babbage because we forgot to take the bread, elite yeah, bread. Elite bread. Elite bread talk. We should make like an, an elite bread, like shape. <laughs> I mean, like, make a bread that's there got, you like, go, that's your on. challenge. I mean, what, that's, your next, that's your next task, Stephen. Uh, Cora Star says, have you tried Elite in VR? I tried it for about five seconds until I was dragged to get some food. food yeah. um, I really wanted to sit and do it, but we were at Fantastico and Will was hogging it, so I never got a chance until yeah, I got dragged away. Yeah, I was feeling a little... Uh, I mean, I, I really enjoyed sitting in the cockpit of the ship, and then I foolishly went down to... Because I wanted to see what it was like to land on a planet while in VR, and then I uh, drove my um, SRV around and that made me a uh, little, little, uh, what's the word? Peaky? Queasy? 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 Queasy would be the one. Um, Peely Wally is like Mostly because I suffer from um, motion sickness from time to heart, from time to time. I was getting that in last Thursday stream. You were, yeah, you yeah. said, you mentioned for, for the racing. That's, that's your excuse of why you didn't do so well. Well, I did win. Mm. So, if you've not seen it, uh, last Thursday we did a full mm. throttle stream where we did some SRV racing. We had some fantastic guests. We had uh, the, the amazing oh, yeah. duo that make the burp pit. We yeah. have Commander Burr and Commander Rini. Mm. Um, and we also had uh, Commander Primetime Casual on with us to talk about the speedboat. Um, and it was an awesome week. The three of us got to do it. You were really, really, really good. competitor. I'm really good. I was, I was uh, surprisingly... Uh, many of you won't um, believe me when I say this, but I was surprisingly pretty good at the race. Um, Commander Chris was saying, why shieldless FDL? Um, I'm trying to basically get my FDL, <laughs> the, I'm trying to give it the ability to jump. Mm -hmm. I think it's 80, no, it's 890. I need to get to 890 light years um, just so that I can pick up a better frame shift drive, which is in New Home Station. Excellent. Um, so that's uh, why. So, so that's not why. you're not going. You're not going. You're not going to fight in a shieldless uh, FDL. Oh, you're definitely you're not. not that brave. No, I'm not, not brave yet. enough. Not not yet. Um, but I am trying to store the current things that I do have because some of the things I do have are quite good. But I'm trying to just get to eight point ninety eight point ninety light years, which I think is an important part because in the game this. Can you just do two jumps? Uh, no, because it's, it's only one it's in the map. You just can't get there. Can't get there. I need eight point nine. Wow. Yeah. That's very. Spe specific. Specific. I think it's. I think it is. But I can't check my thing. We just know. Uh, the honey thief says, "Oh, my friends, I was not asking for anything official. More like more frontier gossip, such as what Zach in communication has been up to. I heard Zach can be such a Zach. Oh, that Zach. Um, <laughs> why don't you just look, ask us a question? What do you want to know, Tell Mr. Us what honey you want. thief? Uh, he uh, Zach Anton actually confirms that he is such a Zach. <laughs> just replace whatever you like. <laughs> whatever you want from that. You can have that. Um, yeah, um, uh, Chris Wu, he hasn't got the the FSD booster. Um, very, very useful for situations like this. There you go. I mean, it's going to take me a while to jump there. Yeah, just do a couple of jumps. I'm going to do that now. For now, That's it's, it. now it's, it's let me do it. I have to go all the way. I mean, but look how annoying that is. Around. It's so straightforward. I mean, it's up here. Like, you can see how, yeah, I'm going to do it though, because I need to get this. I need to, because then once I do that, come back to Babbage Gateway, I can get yeah, a good. Give the FDL for a spin. I'll take you know? my proper stuff back into it, because I've got good guns on it. Everything I need on it. So, can I just say, can I just say that Stephen is going to try out the FDL? Mm -hmm. It's either going to go really well or really poorly. Mm. And then after this stream, he'll go, 
I think I'm going to get a different ship. I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of... I... Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Classic Stephen right now. Let's see if it changes. I... I would say I deny that, but from the past couple of streams, I have had an e a different ship. You've been trying thing. out them, which I, is good. I like to try each different ship. Absolutely. But I think this is the probably one of the higher rated combat ships for a mid ship, because mm -hmm. I remember foolishly, foolishly, um, getting myself a Type Seven, yeah. um, because I was like, not yeah. for combat though. Uh, no, it was for it was okay. for hauling some stuff because I was like, oh, I get a wee bit more money so I can get a better combat ship. Um, so I decided to do some hauling in that, but because it was a larger ship, some of the medium range uh, missions kind of left from me. And I was like, well, I want to make sure that I've got a medium combat ship, mm -hmm. and then eventually, once I build up and I get I get my cred, you know, street cred, boom. Uh, as soon as I get that, then I want to have that ability to to, to buy, a, buy a bigger one. Uh, but right now, I just don't have have that. So you're working on it. I'm working, you're working on, on it. it. I'm and working on it. And you're going to see if this is the, the, sh the ship for you. This, this could be it. You're almost like Cinder Cinderella. And yeah. you've got, is it Cinderella with the, the slipper? Yes, the glass And you're slipper. trying on uh, uh, the slipper. Yeah. And it's just, you've got to make sure that it's the right one. And the ship in this uh, analogy is the slipper. <laughs> It's Monday. It's Mustard Monday, everyone. Um, it's Mustard Monday? Striker uh, underscore underscore eight says, Stephen, Will, how's your day gone so far? Well, busy morning. I've had a busy morning because I've been, I've been set on doing this report uh, and then people keep coming over to me for different things and different things are going it's on. Right, guys. It, it is. It's always because on Monday I'm like, ah, right, I'm going to get, I'm going to get in, I'm going to relax. And then uh, our colleague Paul talk, talk, started speaking to me about the new Jedi game and I really want it. Oh, it's, um, you it's should out. ask, um, uh, Mr. Ritson about it. He's finished it. I have heard him speaking absolute. He's finished it. Already. I really, really want it. Um, but so, but I'm trying to move out. So I am. I'm trying to save my pennies. Right. Um, but he was talking to me about that, and I obviously wanted all the details. And I was like, oh, I need to add this, and I need to do this, and then um, all these different fun things. But it's been good. Just really busy. How about yourself, William? I was at, um, I, oh, so I went to, um, yes, and the there are a lot of questions, so we will, we will get to them, folks, don't mm. worry, we're here. We're here until 1, 1-ish, uh, 1 UTC. Anyway, mm. so uh, I, I went on Friday to the start of the um, Palestinian Film Festival in London, yeah, which was very cool. That. And then um, we watched a film called It Must Be Heaven, and it was, it was quite good. It was about, uh, it was almost a silent movie. Not, there was sound, yeah. but there was not a lot of dialogue. And it was a, uh, it was sort of a, a, um, the director himself plays the character, and he sort of, uh, he's, you see him in in Palestine, then he moves to France, and he kind of observes, uh, observes the same sort of things, and then he moves to the U.S. and then he observes even more. But they're all under his kind of perception. So I think there was there was a great scene at one point where, and you know, this is just playing with stereotypes and things like that. But he was in a he was in a shop. And he was sort of in a grocery shop in New York, and he kind of sees a man, and he's, the man's got a holstered gun. Mm. And he's like, "That's weird." And then he goes round, and then he sees a lady buying some grocery, and she's got sort of like a rifle on, its, like on her back. And then he looks around, and everyone's got a gun, and it plays with this idea that ah. it's this, all these guns. And then this this taxi pulls up, and these, this family get out, and the 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 taxi driver gets gets around to the boot, opens the boot, and pulls out a rocket launcher, and it's very absurd. Yeah. Anyway, I went to see that. I went, then I went to a wedding. And then yesterday I didn't do a lot. I went um, saw actually Mr. Lewis. And, yeah, it was ah, how, how, how was the, how was the wedding? The wedding was nice. It was quite quite a low key one because they'd already had a wedding, but they were then doing it over here in, in London. So mm, it was just nice. a very nice chilled chilled evening. That's nice. So it's been quite busy. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back and uh, geeking out a little bit more on Pokemon, um, on Pokemon <laughs> and other things. As you know, I'm a big Pokemon fan. So there's that. Yes. Uh, right. Right. I know. And now the monologue is over. Yes. Uh, we've got some questions. What is your favourite sandwich topic? Oh, Matt, I've invented something called a piece and toast. So oh, anything yeah. that has a new invention in yeah. sandwiches is my favourite topic. Any so any new new what what sandwiches have you created? Tell that me don't if you've exist? ever created it. They they don't. In kind of common practice. Mm -hmm. um, what, what else have we got? Um, all right, there we go. Wait, it's Monday snap. I thought it was Tuesday. Uh, 
Uh, Stephen, you plan on playing in solo or open? Right now, we are playing in solo, solo, I believe. Solo, solo, solo. I have no shields on right now. <laughs> Why would I play in open? Right yeah, even if you had shields on, even if I had shields on, you are not. Uh, you've still got to prepare yourself for the wonders of combat. So there are yeah. streams where we do sort of combat, especially with players, and our evening streams are usually kind of exploring those topics. Um, so yeah, uh, that should answer that one. Mm -hmm. um, when will we get information about the big? Uh, 2020 update. Not on this stream. You won't. <laughs> Very that, that was quite good. <laughs> not but, this one, but maybe future. But ones. you will in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, not on the stream, but you will in the future get information about it. Yeah. What's your favourite ship in the game so far? So this is one that comes up quite a lot. Mm. Uh, Mr. IR and Mr. Puppy V2. Mm -hmm. um, so my favourite is the Asp Explorer, just because I've. It's the first ship that I really kind of got on board with because. Back when I first started Elite Dangerous, I did a lot of exploration. Um, and um, yeah, I was able to engineer it and unlocked a lot of Guardian stuff. So I kind of really got into the kind of got my overalls on and started welding yeah. things to it. And I really just I, I like the way it functions and flies. So yeah. yeah. I think maybe, maybe uh, originally I've said the same way now because it was my first and it was the one I spent my most time in. But I've went through a lot of ships at this point. I quite like flying my T6. It's a very nice ship to fly. Um, but the best combat ship that I had um, was on um, probably the Vulture. The Vulture. The Vulture is the best combat ship I have flown yet. But this might change if I get this bad boy working. Famous last words, Famous last words. We, we know what happens. I have tried we my best. We know what happens when you say this. Uh, chicken parm sandwich. Oh, chicken parm ham. Is that, I feel like that's probably a sandwich. That's probably is a sandwich. But so, if you've invented it, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I think I like the I like when people try out different things. So I, I invented a thing called peace and toast back when I was in history. With Could you my, give us? So yes, I, I can. <laughs> so um, first so I of all, remember. first of all, to get some confusion is that people don't understand what I say when I say peace. So in Scotland, we call a sandwich piece. So you right. do a piece in ham, piece in square sausage, piece in uh, piece in cold meat, piece in you know that's what you'd ask for. You wouldn't just go like that. Can I get a can I get a sandwich? Sure. Um, that's normally what you'd call it, a piece in something. Mm -hmm. So one day um, I was in history with my friend, and he had crisps in his sandwich. That was like that. So imagine putting a slice of toast instead of crisps in there. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that you have your bread, you have your filling, then you have toast. Then you have your filling, and then you have another piece of bread on top. Sorry, say that again. So bread, bread, filling, filling, toast, toast, filling, yeah. bread. So it's kind of oh. some people might say like a club sandwich, but you do not toast the top two layers. You that only is toast a the middle. Lot of bread. You get bro. that for a club sandwich though. If you go for a club sandwich, it's normally toast, chicken, stuff. Which club? <laughs> <laughs> trying to make dum, a joke. <laughs> He's trying to make a joke. It wasn't a very good one. Yes. Don't humour me. <laughs> I, try, uh, I try not to. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, um, right, what else we got? What's like going that. on? Yeah. Uh, yeah, what, is, what have people been up to? Because we spoke a little bit about our weekends, but we'd obviously like to know what you've, you've been up to. Yeah, please uh, let Both in-game and out of game. Um, have you been much doing much in-game? Uh, not since our last sort of... Um, Stream really, mm -hmm. I, haven't, I haven't been out of it. Will's going for the dad jokes. Yeah. What did you think of them, Red Punch King Gaming? Did you enjoy <laughs> that dad joke? Dad jokes are always the ones where you're kind of like, I, I don't enjoy it, but I kind of do. Yeah, I mean, I've, do. I've realised as I age, I've been, I enjoy them more. <laughs> you enjoy it. Really it explains a lot. Why there's a dad joke. Yeah. I think it's more that a lot of jokes take a lot of effort nowadays. Um, so it's like a big build up in the point something. Sometimes a dad joke is just so bad that makes you happy. Uh, playing elite and crying a little. Um, I do that as well, but it's not because I'm playing elite. You're sort of doing it simultaneously. I do it while I bake bread. <laughs> My <laughs> bread's so beautiful. I've made <laughs> it. I actually was so, so stunned about it. Yeah. Toasted back with Satan and bread. Toasted. Satan and bread sauce. So say, say, have you had Satan yeah. before? Uh, yeah. I know it, yeah. yeah. I haven't had it though. I think it's a really good alternative for vegetarians. And again, if you're vegetarian, vegan, whatever you are, it's great. For me, I went to a vegetarian restaurant and I had a, a Satan burger. And I don't know if it was the burger, I don't know if it was the place, mm -hmm. but it was the chewiest thing I've ever ate in mm. my life. I'm not a vegetarian, but I do like to be right, balanced and have some yeah. meat and veg. Yeah, as you should, yeah. So I tried a... I tried a well, it's um, not for, like, it's not going to always 
hit everyone's everyone's mark. You know? Everyone's palate. Yeah, yeah. um, Commander Crunch uh, has says I've been playing Death Stranding. In an odd way, it makes me appreciate Elite Dangerous a bit more. So I, you are not the first person to say mm -hmm. that there are elements in it that feel very Elite Dangerousy. Really, we've seen it quite a lot actually, mm -hmm. um, which is quite interesting. Uh, currently at the opposite edge of the galaxy, past Sagittarius A, doing a loop around the galaxy four months in. Uh, Bravo uh, to you. Do you have any plans to come back? Back to the back to human space, come back, back to the bubble? Uh, Ruben Eats says, all bread, no mercy. See, that made me laugh. That's why I was laughing, because I can imagine somebody just sitting there with a full loaf going, huh, doesn't need to change, and then just eating <laughs> it all. Um, I probably could do it. <laughs> oh, dang it. Well, I do love bread. All right. <laughs> Striker, thanks for tuning in. Catch you later. Have a great day. This is what I came all the way out here for. Was it wow. For a frame shift drive. Why Look how many light years I've got now. But, yeah, but were you not already in the system? So I was in CEOS, and now I'm in Sothis. But where are you doing your combat? In CEOS, where I've left all my gear. But why have you did? Why? Why the did you need to? Why did you need it? I didn't need it for this stream. I think it was out of sheer principle. It was sheer principle that I was going to get this. As this is what the principle is. So you've, is. you've just made this detail because you needed one. I feel that there's been times where we've all made de de detours on streams. Sure, no, I I uh, agree. <laughs> that has maybe happened. I just didn't realise you were doing all of this effort to get that. But look, I can now go do back. 18, 18 light years now. See, how good's that? So you need to go there. Yeah. I need Which you can now, it's one, one, one jump. Trip, one jump. Other way. No, 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 it's this way. Oh, you're doing, you're doing it this way. I'm going to go... Straight back here where all my stuff is. Right. Get the weapons ready and we're going to go blow something up. Sounds good. It's not always the end, it's the journey. It's the journey, yeah, absolutely. I, I, that's, I agree. It is the journey. Um, and, but I just thought, okay, that's probably a journey that, you know, may have, may have, could have happened off screen. <laughs> I was trying to do it this morning, but it was busy. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was up to 11, true. I was up to 11 o'clock last night, uh, Playing Elite Dangerous, I was half eleven, whilst watching, um, whilst watching Jack Ryan. The, yeah, the the, the uh, espionage thing. Yeah, yeah, Which the is, crime I series. Really right? Really enjoyed the first season. Really enjoyed it, but I was just sitting playing Elite and doing some. Uh, thank you. Doing some. Uh, I was doing some Elite after doing my ironing. Bit my so you baked your bread, so you did your bread. ironing, and then a bit of a leak. That sounds I have a wonderful Sunday. I have a rock and roll lifestyle, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> um, CMTG says, can you comment the Steam Arcs bug? I need you to be more specific. I might be able to comment on it, but if you have encountered a bug, make sure you report it on our issue tracker. I believe the link mm -hmm. is, I'm going to just drop the link in now. Fire it in. You've probably, you've probably already done that, because it's a very diligent thing to do. But just in case you haven't, which can happen. Yep. Uh, I would recommend going there. That will that will go automatically to our, our teams who will be able to uh, escalate it where necessary. Yeah, well, do let us know as well because it just helps. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's just I've got a, a a windy power distributor. Yeah, that's just so that I could jump. Now I'm going back, back to get to get my actual stuff because that's he's got no shields. I've got nothing or anything like that. No, no weapons, nothing. So I am going to get that right now and it's going to be glorious we'll see, <laughs> we'll Famous see. Last words. <laughs> i'm trying um, to be positive uh what ho what ho jack little good day to you sir oh hello jack little um ghost says i have only 29 percent to my first elite rank in trading i'm not that far either and it is very exciting for trade i think for me um uh, toxic Toe says, do you guys read Mixer as well or just Twitch? We, re we are restreaming on all uh, YouTube, Twitch and Mixer and we mm -hmm. read comments across the board. So Toxic, if you are there, hello. Welcome. Welcome from our Mixer crowd. Um, so we'd love to see you guys streaming open mm. soon. Um, we would love that too, but we um, have inevitably had some issues in the past. Well, it's more um, a case of, a, so, so to really kind of explain how it works, um, our Thursday live streams where we are, they're usually themed around, around something that happens. Mm -hmm. So in, uh, to, to, to draw a, a most recent example is the race we did, an SRV race. Now the point of those streams is to show off that sort of side of things. Yeah. Now, obviously, because Elite Dangerous allows you to go, uh, go out there and you can, if you want to pirate someone, you want to blow someone up, you absolutely can. And that is, that is very much in line with the vision of, of Elite Dangerous. However, 
If we're doing a live stream where we're then trying to show this thing off, and then someone comes in and goes boom, 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 and blows us up, yep. that doesn't really capture the spirit of it, and it doesn't really make sense to do that. Why would we do a live stream where that happens? So this is why um, in these live streams we're offering in private groups to really ensure that what we're doing is is the, the, the show we want to put on. Yeah. Now, outside of that, if we're playing Elite Dangerous at home or we want to... We, you know, you whatever you're doing outside of this that little sort of example, then absolutely playing on open and, and yeah. getting involved with the community there as well. And then we do live streams where we do um, open it up to people as well. So it's just worth mentioning, kind of the spirit of what these live streams are about. I think. Yeah, anyway. yeah, and I, I, I do uh, on the, I, I don't mind. Like, when I first started playing Elite, I did actually play um, in open. Um, sure. And then I, when I started doing it, I realised that, like the position I'm in just now, I am not in any position to be open. Now, I have no shields on this right now. You can actually see how you can say, but no shields, no nothing. Such a challenge. Such a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> if I if I if I wandered past the wrong area of space, I could I could be uh, I could be injured. I could I could lose all that I've worked towards. All of that 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 frame shift drive you spent ages spent half the stream getting to. Gone in instant. An instant. Uh, anyway, uh, will the power play update involve bread? I don't believe we've announced an update of that kind from no. a new. Um, but usually, there may be slices of bread available with our updates. Mm -hmm. It's not. We're not against the idea. I like bread. Apparently, <laughs> uh, I am. Um, Mr. Puppy says finally reached your should have been one jump, but had to make several destinations. But now I know. In I, and out of Babbage, mm. and then all the way around. And then all the way around. But now I don't need to worry about that. I'm. I'm. Now sorted because of that time that we spent together and sure. learned and, and came that. Uh, Orange Phoenix, that's quite a fun idea because it's actually something we've already done. Mm -hmm. um, you could do an open special where the devs run the gauntlet of trying to survive and avoid the commanders trying to kill. Mm -hmm. So back, I can't remember if it was for, I think it was either for the 24 hour live stream or it was one of our launch live streams. Mm -hmm. My memory escapes me on this one. But uh, we had an idea that, okay, this person leaves this station and they have to get to another one and they are being chased and then there were members of the community who would come and protect those like a convoy and then there mm -hmm. were others who would try and pirate them and it was great good fun definitely something we should do in the future definitely. when don't know don't know when but absolutely yeah you know, it was a lot of fun it was, it was quite a while ago though i can't remember when it was exactly someone should know out there let us know but uh, it's good fun to do these events. It just does take a lot of time and preparation to kind of get yeah, them sorted yeah, as well. Yeah. And um, we've got other great surprisingly, things. Surprisingly, surprisingly so. Well, your your um, sounds of space. Yeah, that that that, took, that was an amazing stream, but mm. it, did take, it did take quite a bit. And we obviously want to show off all these stuff and do these really cool things. But um, you know, these do take sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Commander H eight three D. H3R0 says, I want pie with my updates. It's very, very funny because, um, you know, there, there's always a case where you can't please everybody. So you'll have to have bread. And then the next update, you can have pie, okay? We'll do bread pie. That's just how it works. <laughs> I've never made a pie. Actually, it's a lie. I've made a chicken pie. Chicken pie. Chicken pie. I always get chicken pie. Will it gluten free? Uh, no, but you no. could do it now. Um, I could probably make gluten-free pastry. Yeah, yeah. I, I I don't have like a pastry maker. The only reason I made bread is because bread's actually really simple to make. Um, on the so th for for me the, the best way to make bread is just using. Uh, well, I need to get rid of that first, don't I? Uh, is to use bread. Uh, bread was just like really easy to kind of move around and put in. Um, but yeah, I could probably try some pastry. I don't have a pastry making machine. Pastry takes a lot more time. Um, but bread was the easiest thing I could think. <laughs> I feel like I just went through a bit bread. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm, I want you to focus because I want to see you fight with this ship. I'm trying, but my. There we go. I am going to use. You're going to see it all come together now. It's all getting there. All right, people in the chat. Um, <laughs> Put a thumbs up if you think Stephen is going to absolutely blitz uh, the resource site. I just uh, want to point out that nobody believed me in the race, and I still want that. Kind of, Stephen. You really need to go back and watch that stream, I assure you. I was there. That me and... I was um, there in the moment, and uh, and I won. I won time where we were holding back. All I remember is that I shot right past you both, and uh, it was neck and neck at the finish line, and I, and I bet you. Um, yeah, so 
we'll see. Uh, thumbs up if you think Steven's going to do a great job and destroy all that he comes into contact with. Um, Wadi Mull says, now that Planet Zoo has released, will we get fast release updates? There are different teams working on the, those games, so you, it won't change the speed in which another update comes because one game has released. There are two separate teams working on those. Um, any chance you'll see a menu reload to get them to flow better? It would be a great idea. I don't think it's planned at the moment. Uh, you've got uh, IR, Mr. Puppy. That's, that's good enough. You've got quite a few thumbs up. Three thumbs up, two thumbs down. Ooh. Vulture P's not, he doesn't, he or she doesn't um, think you'll do it. Thatcher Nove doesn't think you'll do it, but Shem Yaza does. What? And Commander H83D, H3R0 does too. I, I, I love Ghost it. thinks, Ghost kind of got a ghost, a skull, and some fingers going like that. <laughs> fingers crossed, so. I think we're ready. Okay, you've got it. I think I'm ready. Just going to check. Yeah, I think that's the best that I've got. Just for uh, Redden, very, very knowledgeable. For PvE on the FDL, I suggest one beam and four multi cannons on the FDL. Ooh. That's what he's recommending. But I've got three. I've got one one sure beam because I will get the ships down and then Shield multi cannon. Down, yeah. Yep, yep. But, so, but how many beams have you got? Three. Three beams? Three beams. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I mean, I'm inclined. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Do, uh, do what, no, right? you do, no, you go. Go for it. You stick with what you like. I, I have no idea. I'm so good. I, I, I don't know. It's gonna go well. You're mm. the underdog. That's it. That's uh, I, prayed my people in being the under, <laughs> underdog. Films by Nick. I think he might or might not do well or not very well. I'm not confirming or denying anything. Nothing to say at this point. I feel like it's very dip well. That's a very diplomatic like. approach. <laughs> <laughs> it's like super. Uh, okay, so let's see what happens here. So there we go. One. Jamie Gordon, hey guys, on PS4 I keep getting messages from a crew member or something saying that things, things as if we, we are on a passenger mission constantly. Where do I report this? Right here. Right there, Jamie. I've just popped it into the chat. Nice. Uh, uh, you still have 5e e thrusters on the FTL, it's going to be a bit of a brick. Yeah, I don't have, um, I don't know where I can get New thrusters. There just isn't one nearby. Yeah, there's not okay. one. There's not one nearby. It was quite far away, and I already made everybody suffer. But yeah, we want to see this. We want to see anything now. happen with it. I mean, first. the premise of the stream was Stephen's going to take the FDL for a spin. I am taking it for a spin. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. We're we're, I, we're spinning out. We're we're totally now we're geared spinning up. Out. <laughs> <laughs> it's been spinning out. Of we're spinning out. We're getting there. Um, so we're getting there. We're getting there. And uh, we're going to jump into a resource extraction site to see how that goes. That was actually really difficult for me to say there. Resource extraction site. Resource. It's Which, quite a, a wordy. Well, I found uh, out. No, so I, I, I like to do some, not constantly, but I've always prided myself in doing certain accents and voices and stuff like that. And I was trying to do Planko recently. Sure. And um, I realised it's a really hard language to do um, sure. because R and L go together, and I can't say my R and Ls together. So, Can you give an example? Um, purple, curly, whirly. Right, I see. So it was very difficult to say. Whirly. So purple yeah. is hard right. because I hadn't go pur purple. Pur purple. Purple. What do you say purple? Purple. 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 You say purple. Purple. Instead of purple. Purple. So you say purple or curly. Curly. Curly is very difficult. Curly. So curly, whirly. Um, what happened to open power play? So we have nothing to announce about open play power play right now. That's what happened. Um, oh, CMTG, yeah, I believe that's been resolved, that issue. Mm. But, um, Very much can watch to see kabooms. I will make it happen. I hope it's not me, though. It was just that, it was that moment in the last live stream where Paige just blew up. <laughs> was, oh, yeah. That just was like, just, it was just I've that made moment. my piece. <laughs> she was <laughs> like, I'm now going to come and fly over you. And I honestly had to, she kept saying that when you were flying about, she was like, I and mean, I was like, no, I was like, we've said no guns in this. And she goes, but it's so easy. And I was like, no, I bitch. Can just, I can no, destroy no. them all now. I would be the winner if they all blow up. <laughs> exactly. I've already blown up, so I might as well keep going. So we're getting there. Um, I might actually just take Super Cruise. So Super Cruise Assist is quite good, as we've said, for helping out with the streams. But I can see that it might be better off just trying to get here a wee bit faster by yeah. taking control. And then you could always put it back on when you're closer. Yeah. I like to do that. 
I like to have that wee bit of speed brush and pull it back. It's useful. Yeah, um, it's very useful. You know, if you're doing something at the same time, if you're streaming, I have to say, um, if you're live streaming Elite Dangerous, having uh, Super Cruise Assist and Auto Dock is yeah. very useful. It's useful anyway. Yeah. But they're not there. They're not there for everybody. You know, you don't have to use them. Um, you get a little bit more space if you don't use them, for example, because mm -hmm. you, you can take them out. Um, but I think sort of sort of the smaller ships all come with with that sort of um, those modules. Yeah. Uh, it was it was introduced to help newer players who were understand trying to understand how these mechanics worked. Because um, you know you ended up with people who were you might want to slow down there. Yeah. Uh, and then activate it. Um, but it was helping those people who you know would be traveling a year but they were in the same system yeah yeah that's that's a problem and i think a lot of the medium ships don't have it because every time i've bought one i've had to put put them in but i keep forgetting i keep forgetting that you need to put it on so i'll start flying i go oh i've not got it which is fine because i can fly without it um but it is that moment when you go it's actually really useful and then you go oh no i've not got it sure so let's see this so we're gonna we're we're gonna see i mean we're going to see you blow up some stuff right now. Yes, that is the main plan, I hope. I'm just making sure that I don't like crash into, because that's what I found with resource extraction sites, is if you actually hit them head on with the way Super Cruise tells you, mm -hmm. you do hit them kind of head on, you kind of want to come in at an angle. Right. So you can get like actually in between it. I, yeah, I usually just go bam. <laughs> and then it. fly over. Just scrape against a, an asteroid. I've got, I've got my, my better shields on, and I now have shields, but I still don't know if Faith. I could take an asteroid. Asteroid okay. to the face. Here we go. Yeah. You've got this. Stephen, we're all behind you. We're well, all not everybody. I now um, feel super intense. I now feel the pressures here. Just so I normally do the 7 rule, the 07 rule. Yes. I like Which is, uh, Mr. Puppy is, is explaining here, yes, it's very useful. Yeah. Oh, um, no, not 05, not 05. It's, well, clearly he's not listening this time. Just go, just zoom at it. Just zoom at it. It's going out. Mean, like going like this. But it's, it's happening now, so just ah. let it happen. Boom! It's Look fine. at that. That's fine. Like a pro. That's it. Going uh, to melt like a cheese toaster, <laughs> says Ruben. I, I, think, I think that's I, about you. I, <laughs> I know. I, th I feel like we're going to start getting some like bread puns as as things go on. That was a bit of a. Um, so there was there's a few questions about um, sort of things that we're addressing, things we're not addressing. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is our Let's Play live stream, so we're just playing Elite Dangerous. Uh, we will usually reserve announcements for uh, Thursday night live streams, as well as um, announcements on the forum, so that everybody in our community can, can hear the news and not just those who are watching on the stream. Mm -hmm. So we have nothing to announce about BGS changes or anything like that right now. Um, if you do, if you are encountering things, make sure you, um, any bugs, make sure those, those go on our issue tracker site. Um, if you have feedback and suggestions, make sure those go on the forums as well. Oh, he's jumping right into it. Oh, no yeah. No systems, but you're okay with that. How are you feeling with it so far? Yeah, yeah. This I mean, it, it, I feel like uh, I've almost ripped the shield down uh, quite quickly. So now I just if need you stay to... in the blue on your throttle, you'll move a little faster. Yes, but I'm trying to do the whole reverse backy forward D1. Cause, yeah, here we go. And there we are. Yeah, speed. He's a speed machine. Slow down, they say. <laughs> but you're fine, you're all right, but you're getting zapped. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm not, I don't want to put you off. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the shields are holding up. It's not doing too bad. I'm not too concerned. Um, could, the firepower could be a bit more, if I'm honest with you. This is only an aspect spawn. I know. Let your lasers. It's back, there's, a, there's backseat piloting as well as. Yeah, I mean, I stand, got there. I got stand, there. It's all right. I got there in the end. It wasn't too bad. So, how do you feel about it? So, yeah, I mean. Knew it. I think I need to work on it more. Like I said, maybe um, less pulse lasers could be better with multi cannon. Maybe, you know. Because you, the shields went down quite. Yeah, they're draining your power fast, what that's, Animal says. That's the problem, was that... So, one of the builds I was looking at, it was three. But I'm, I've also... And I was talking to you about this recently. Mm. Normally, 
when I do combat, I've stuck to the I've stuck to the pulse and I've stuck to the multi cannon. Sure. Now I like the beam ones. I like the beam, and I like the pulse. But I was also thinking about trying some of the the other weapons out. And I was considering that maybe trying some other weapons and seeing how sure, I can use them absolutely. would be a really fun way to kind of uh, explore the explore, different, yeah, different yeah. combat styles, different things that I'm looking to do. Redden says getting those 5A thrusters will change a lot. Oh, yeah. But it will still be far from the Vulture's agility. The, vul that's right, the Vulture was probably, yes, it was one of my favourite ships and I could take things out super quickly with it. Um, but I just wanted to, I wanted to try a wee bit something new. Mm -hmm. I was really comfortable with it. Let's, well, you've brought down one. Let's bring out some more. But um, yeah, let's bring bring down some more ships before you make a decision yeah. and write it off. I know. I was quite. I was quite quick with the ass because of how um, the shields just went. It was like it was like cutting yeah. butter. It was like cutting butter with that thing. But you can still you can still use the other weapons to bring bring the hull down. Yeah. You don't just have to use the multi cannons. No. Um, Toxic Toe, we are playing on PlayStation right now. Ooh, we are. I'm going to try and see if I can see people. It's a bit dark. So you're putting your night vision on. I am. Um, just to see if I can. I was no one around here right uh, there now. There isn't really, is there? I quite like the, the night vision. The night vision is very useful. Very yeah. useful. They're normally in like a nice, if they're in a nice cluster, they're normally... Ooh. Jason HC, the faultless, faultless stalker. Clean. It's clean. clean. They're clean, they're clean. That's one of my favourite things. Is that your stomach? Yeah. Wow. Are you hungry, Will? Uh, a little. Uh, that happens, though, doesn't it, on these nights? We always get hungry. We always talk about food. We talk about bread. We always get really hungry. Yeah. That's what's a, a given. Try FA off and on again. <laughs> He's not ready for that. I so. I actually was okay when I was practicing some speed speedball stuff. I was quite happy with my my FA off skills. Maybe not confident enough to, you know, <gasps> go 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 go. Where are you shooting at? Slow down. Where is he? Behind you now. Who is? Someone. <laughs> Over there. Yeah. Uh, Edward Stewart. I think it's Edward. That Edward. Yeah, he's the one that's been shot at. Let's go for him. Really Let's go. He's nearly gone. Ah, we'll join him. We join him. You're so speedy, Steve. I am so speedy. Like Sonic. I like it. It's like that flying in. Yeah, I'm hungry. What's everybody having for lunch today? As we as we approach the ten the last ten minutes of today's live stream, what are people having? For their lunches. Out of no surprise, I am having some bread. You just spread. I just, I just have some bread left over from the weekend. <laughs> so I've just got that and a bit of water. I have some ham on it. <laughs> um, Films by Nick. I'd quite like ah. chicken and cheese subway with barbecue sauce. Bread with soup. Soup Very is nice good. for winter. I do like a, a bit of soup. What is your winter soup that you go for? Uh, I well, I I like chicken soup. It's mm, quite good. That's good for the cold. Tomato. Soups also. Uh, I like a vegetable mix. Vegetable medley of soup. A vegetable medley. Um, a medium rare steak. Are you having that for lunch? Very for nice. Lunch. Just made chilli and beans from scratch. Old family recipe. Mm. Not bread though, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's good, but it's not bread. <laughs> Uh, no, that sounds great. That does. Yeah, chilli and beans awesome. good. See, I, I've noticed a lot of people do that recently as well, and I have to say that I've I think I've also done it, is that you end up having more dinnery things for your food. What, a lunch? Yeah, let's sort of uh, dinnery things for your lunch, for your food, for your lunch, and then at, at lunch you have something a wee bit smaller. Hey. Mm -hmm. um, well, I will probably have a small dinner tonight because we have our, our weekly um, Dungeon and Dragon, Dungeons and Dragons session. Ah, uh, yes. So we, we have to eat light because we do it after work, so then we have to ensure that maximum time is spent on uh, um, exploring dungeons on the D, &D. can you not eat in the D, &D yeah world? you can but if you're cooking and you're supposed to be in a in some i don't know dungeon dungeon <laughs> it's like what is that noise oh it's just the frying pan <laughs> <laughs> that uh, leek and tatty soup leek and tatty soup is good pen pasta with a smoked sausage onions garlic baby spinach and diced tomatoes sounds incredible oh wow sounds so good I don't know what, I need to have a quick lunch today. 
because you're going to go play Pokemon. I need to play Pokemon. You I've don't been need playing Pokemon to. Uh, the weekend as well. In mm -hmm. addition to all the other activities I've no. been up to in the downtime. <laughs> it's like, well, come on in, dads. Uh, I really need to go to the bathroom Just again. Catch this again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Pikachu outside. <laughs> um, so I've been doing a lot of that. So um, my lunch is a very strategic lunch of, okay, let's get food, let's get the sustenance. Let's get the but sustenance. Maximum playing time. Um, no, I think I would need the f I'd need the food before the playing time. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Categorically. Oh, cate cate Categorically, because you sat there and you're feeling really hungry. It's never a good feeling. No. Ah, it's nearly midnight here, but my lunch today was a cheese toasty with bacon pieces mixed through the cheese. Yeah. Okay, Commander Nichols. Where are you located in the world? Where are you watching from? Bear says fish with some potatoes. Sounds great. Fish and potatoes is good. Homemade chicken fried rice, aka leftovers from the weekend. I once tried to make cauliflower fried rice. You imply that it didn't go well. It not it, it went well. You tried to make it. I went it went well. Sure. But and it did have the same consistency, but yeah, fried rice is better. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bread, is it? That should be your new catchphrase. It's not bread, is it? It's not, no, it's yours. It's, uh, I mean... Yeah, I like that. I'm it's not bread, is it? And unless people have watched this stream, they'll never understand it, so it's like a nice wee in-joke. Yeah. yeah. It's not bread, is it? It's not bread, is it? I don't have a catchphrase, so it's about time I had one. I think it's not bread, is it? It's a good one. <laughs> it's not for, bread, for is you. it? Though? It suits you. It suits you very well. Because you can well. use it for anything. Yeah. You don't have to use it for food. You can it's go, like, oh, I've had a really bad day. It's like, it's just not bread, is it? It's not bread, is it? I'm like, what does that even mean? Because it has so many different connotations. <laughs> like, bread? What? I'll have a sad sandwich. That's one of my favourite sandwiches. It's just like bread and like one filling, no butter, no anything. Did you... Sad sandwich. Did you not have the uh, crispy sandwich when you were in school? Yeah, crisps. Yeah, like, no, no, it's like it always had like a certain crisp. Everyone had a certain crisp that they put in them. So you wouldn't just go, oh, I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have... You're in range. What's it's? You're in range. You wouldn't just go, oh, I'm going to have what's it's, you know, in my sandwich. You would always have a crisp. Well, I'm, I'm really confused, Stephen, what? because, yes. What crisp would you put in your sandwich? Right, that's what you're trying to find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two right. things at once is very difficult yeah. to do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Makes sense. I, I think the, the classic is salt and vinegar. <laughs> salt and vinegar in, crisp, in, a, in the sandwich. sandwich, especially if you've, you've got some of the fillings with it. Amazing. I'm just, I hate vinegar. What about you guys? What yeah. crisps? What What's crisps your would you put in your sandwich? Choice? Prawn cocktail, another classic. Uh, it's just difficult. Flavors, Monster Munch. And there, there's a lot of people that would have a Monster Munch. I never. Put they're it. hard though because they're they're massive, so they make your sandwich gain height and then you have to crush them. But that's good. Is that nice? Good. Oh, they're gone. Uh, we'll get you next time. I think I definitely need some better lasers, or some sort of setup, for my Ooh. beautiful fairy. Look at that. Look at that. Eh? Yeah, Look we'll get a paint job on that in a minute. So I think we both came to this uh, conclusion. It's very difficult to fly the camera with the Hotas. With the Hotas, yeah. I do think it is, yeah. yeah. But look at that. Look at that. Just going to keep zooming out till it's a, a tiny dot. Um, <laughs> salt and vinegar, prawn, cock, <laughs> uh, prawn, prawn cocktail. cocktail. Yep. Whew. Walker's barbecue crisps. Oh. Pickled onion, monster munch, cheese and onion. Salted. It was the munch. Do you remember salted. salt and shake? Does anybody remember salt and Monster shake? Monster munch. Last pro tip from Redden here. You can see that huge beam takes quite a heavy load on the power distribution. Yep. Until you can modify your distributor, you could go with an efficient mod. Yes. So they, I think engineer. that is probably a better idea. So that's, that's we've covered a lot in the last five minutes. Um, Joseph, uh, okay, been here for a few minutes now. I want to do something else. Goodbye. We are also departing very shortly. Yeah. Four minutes. In four. We, are, we are out. So if you have any questions, any comments that you want to share with oh. us, please do. It's been our pleasure to be here on Monday. Uh, worth mentioning, there won't be a, a live stream this Thursday. No, there will so not. There won't be an Elite Dangerous Evening live stream. Um, but we have other live streams. If you're a follower of Frontier, uh, uh, live streams happening throughout the week check those out and we'll be back next Monday on our live stream. Mm -hmm.
think we have an interesting live stream after that coming up and planned as Please. well. I, I think I announced it the other day, the other day, but I think um, we're bringing in the fuel rats. It's been a while since we've seen the fuel rats, so we're going to catch up with those. Yeah, guys. that'll be fun. Um, yeah. Oh, is that someone there? Competent? No. See, everyone seems a bit clean in this area. I think you had a better, you had like a better res site. Oh, I, I did last that. time. That was a really good one, wasn't it? I, I, I you know, I tapped into some uh, great, great, great on that. I've got 54,000. 54, it's not a lot, though. Not a lot. But it was We're a test. Expecting. It was a test run. This is this was the point. We just wanted to go out and do a week in a mess around and see what it was like in this wee ferdy. And I think I think we've got some really good feedback. Thank you very much. Um, so we can have a look at maybe upgrading my ferdy to have a better power distributor mm. and you know make sure that I may, maybe use less lasers and more multi cannons because it seems to have a less of a drain. It's all a learning experience. It is. All finding it out is. what it is. Uh, Chris, Wu, when is the next initiative CG? That is today at 3 p.m. Um, that one's a really important one, guys, so get involved. Yes. Because there's going to be some some choices. Are you Empire or Fed? Um, I know who you're going for. Empire or Fed? Yes, there. Yeah, Empire. Uh, did you catch the last uh, His, Dark, His, His Dark Materials episode? Well, I did indeed. It was enjoyable. I've still not watched it. Very good. I love the books. Uh, so there you go. Uh, right, folks. Oof. This. Oh, we'll, we'll kind of... We'll kind of end on this We're beautiful that. shot it's a good of shot, Stephen's no? FDL, which ne by next the next Stephen stream, the next Stephen stream, you won't see this ship anymore because I will. I'm going to keep this one. I will we'll see. try to keep this. We'll one. see, won't we? On the next stream, I'm standing by. <laughs> I'm, and standing, saying, I'm standing. I'm standing by. by and saying that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to stick to it. I, it was spite, just at a few. I, I'm gonna fly this shit. <laughs> I will do this. I will not stand stand down and let you dictate my ship. No, you probably you're probably right. I'll probably get a new one after this one. But <laughs> it's, it's knew it. Called yeah. it. No, Called I I am giving it more of a chance. I gave. You need to do a few tweaks to it. I think. I think I need to tweak it up a bit to yeah. make it the powerhouse that it deserves to be. There you go. So yeah. we'll be back next Monday, um, but we're available on Discord, on the forums, on Twitter. Do reach out to us. If you want us, uh, want us for anything, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be there, we'll be watching, we'll be reading your comments and all of that, all of that jazz. So it's a goodbye from me. And it's a goodbye from me. For like now. A, a show to you. <laughs> goodbye from us. That's goodbye um, for now. Yes, catch you next time, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you very much, guys. Bye. Bye.